Hello everyone, so welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Aitya, and in this particular video, what we are going to do is we are going to work upon survey data. So whenever you are asked the question like how likely you will recommend my channel to others, or how likely you will recommend any particular TV series if you like to others, like if suppose if you like Money Heist or you TV series, you Netflix, or any other series, friends. So if you want to recommend that series to your friends, so how likely that answer has to be occur, right? So that answer may vary from like strongly disagree to strongly agree. right and there might be some neutral responses from some of the participant like if you take a survey right so whenever we are analyzing a survey data so what happened is so this is just a draft i have done here is so you can see like there are variety of questions like question 1 to question 5 like the different questions are asked to different peoples and different peoples have responded in the form of strongly disagree to strongly agree and some this tick represent like how many respondents are there so suppose if you want to analyze these kind of data and if you want to represent in a particular kind of chart so that might be tricky right like what kind of chart we should use in this particular case like how we are how we can show uh, the audience like if our survey results are having greater impact or not so for this particular type of scenario what we do is we use likert chart so let me just give you a brief overview how we can interpret likert chart so basically likert chart is nothing just a diverging bar chart so in the diverging bar chart uh, what it does is like on the right hand side it shows the positive responses and on the left hand side it shows the all the negative responses that have been recorded in the survey and in the between it shows the neutral responses so you can see a reference line that is highlighted by the dark black color so on the right hand side you can see the there are some neutral responses that are splitted in right hand side and left hand side and then on the right hand side we have like a satisfied users like who are satisfied with the particular service and highly satisfied users and on the left hand side there are dissatisfied and very dissatisfied users so the ones which are on the right hand side like that are satisfied and highly satisfied that are known as promoters so promoters means like that are the positive feedback that we have done so that are promoting our services and on the left hand side these are the detractors which are which are like uh, not good in our particular uh, industry like suppose if this is the case of ail industry so these are the detractors according to which like our service are uh, we need to improve on our particular services so and on so on the black circle you can see some percentage written so what does this percentage mean is sir so this percentage is known as like the nps so nps is the net promoter score so that shows us the value like how many people who are promoting our product minus how many people are not promoting our product the percentage of that are known as is known as the nps value so i hope you are clear with the basic formulas and all so these are some of the questions like which like which like at scale can answer so suppose if the user is asking how satisfied are you with the quality of a customer service or how likely you would recommend a product or service to a friend or how comfortable are you with safety measures being taken in the workplace during covid-19 pandemic so these all questions like are basically are having the range from strongly disagree to strongly agree right get started and gets our hands dirty on data so in this particular case what we are going to do is we are going to work upon like the airline passenger satisfaction survey that has been taken so let me just a brief you about the data dictionary data that is being used in this particular data set so what does data dictionary means is so if you are new to data analysis and if you don't know about data dictionary so let me just give you a brief overview so data dictionary represent the data that is uh, been given to you and what does this data represent so in this particular data like these are the particular columns that are present in the particular data set and what does that represent is given in the description so these are the fields and these are the descriptions so you can see from id to arrival delay you can see the basic information of passenger is given like uh, how many what is the passenger what is the age of the passenger what type of airline customer they have uh, what uh, type of airline customer they are like if they are first time or returning or what is the purpose of their visit and from like question number satisfaction survey like these are the questions that are being asked to the particular uh, passengers and the answers are varying from 1 to 5 so 1 being the lowest and the 5 being the highest and 0 means like the questions is not applicable for the particular flight okay and the satisfaction score is given by like satisfied neutral or unsatisfied to the particular user so we are so now as we are familiar with the data so now let us just look in the data pane so on the small on the right hand side so you can see from departure and arrival the questions are starting the ratings one right so what we can do is we can just select that and shift click on your <coughs> system and shift till the baggage handling and just pivot it so what it will do is like it will make easy for us to analyze the data right so what we can do is we can just name the pivot name as questions q capital and the pivot field value we can give it as the ratings right 
so now let us move on to sheet one so in tableau what it has done is like it has uh, consider rating as a measure field but we don't want this to be a measure we want this to be a dimension because this is just a individual rating right so now what we can do is we can just uh, try to build our basic uh, things in tableau so we can drag the quotients to the row shelf and the ratings to the column shelf and what we want is we want uh, how many respondents are there for this particular how many respondents have given zero rating how many given one rating to five rating right so what we can do is we can do the count distinct of id right so just drag the id to the text one um, and just click on this drop down and click on measure click on count distinct so these many users have given zero rating one rating five rating from like uh, not applicable to dissatisfied to satisfied okay so now we know basic like how our data looks right so in this particular case what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take three as a neutral rating and four and five are like positive responses and two zero one and zero are the negative responses or we can also neglect zero as because these are not applicable but we can see like uh, there are like uh some of the responses like in thousands one so in this particular case i'm just not uh, neglecting it but you can neglect in your survey data if you are doing so now let us just build the individual calculation for all the fields so let me just click a create, create calculated field so first we'll be giving for zero so what i'm going to do here is just i'm writing count distinct so if my rating equal to zero then what i want is i want the count distinct of my id right and and since uh, this will be a detractor right since this will be our the negative response so i want to show in a diverging bar chart the, on the negative side so what i can do is i can just give negative on the calculation click on apply click on ok uh, duplicate this calculation i did that name it as one and give it a setting up one we can give same as here apply ok duplicate add it we can give it the two change here to two apply okay perfect so for three i will do later so now let me just duplicate it for four and five so just click on duplicate four and if my count distinct is four so four and five are the positive responses so i don't want it on the right, left hand side of the bar i want that to be on the right hand side of the bar so i will just remove the negative sign from here click on apply click on okay <clears throat> duplicate that add it and five so five apply okay okay so now in uh, we have seen like uh, the neutrals are being divided in the like a chart on the left hand right right so we'll be dividing the neutral ones so what we can do is we can just duplicate this calculation so we can just edit it so i can just write three negative and if my rating is equal to three then i want negative one and divide by two apply okay and i can same thing i can do for positive add it three positive and i can just remove the negative sign from here so i hope you are clear with this calculation so why we have done so far is so we can build a diverging bar chart in tableau so now all the calculations are being done so let me just move on to my uh, new sheet so what i can do is i can just drag the quotients to the uh, row shelf and what i can do is i can just start building the view so i can just drag the zero to the column shelf and one to the same axis and i can just drag the measure names to colors perfect now i can add two on the same one then same thing we can do for three negative three positive four and five so a diverging bar chart is like little bit ready right so now you can see <clears throat> our responses are not in particular order we want so we want zero two on the left hand side then one one on the right hand side is correct then two is also correct then three negative is also correct but three positive is at the right right but we want a uh, below that so what we can do is we can just drag to this one so now this is three negative three positive then four we want here and five at the last right so we can just play from the measure name 
to shift the bars positions so now it is correct like this is 0 this is 1 2 3 4 and 5 perfect so now what we can do is we can just uh, give that so now let us just uh, change the color palette of that so we can just click on the right hand side uh, edit colors and I have just the color palette for like a chart so for the one we can give dark red dark orange or two disappeared orange for neutral we can give gray for uh, satisfied and very satisfied and for the zero one like that are not applicable question but that I am counting as a very dissatisfied only because that are not being included if you are paying so much and data service is not included i am taking that as a dissatisfied service only but you can also neglect the zero if you want in your particular case so i am just giving the same color as uh, the one one as the one reading so click on ok perfect so just uh, go entire view perfect so now it is uh, looking a little bit similar to our particular case so we are developing the like a chart so now <clears throat> what you want is we want to show the NPS score right so for NPS score uh, we have to build one calculation so let me say NPS so what are NPS means like it is like number of promoters minus number of detractors right and that are the percentage of that correct so what we are going to do is we are going to build a calculation for that so in this particular case our promoters would be 4 and 5 right so what we are going to do is we are just going to drag the 4 to our calculation plus the 5 to our calculation and wrap it in a bracket and we want to convert into percentage so what we will do is we will just divide by count distinct from the response side like how many respondent have promoting a product right so it will give us the percentage and minus our detractors so in detractors will be like 0 1 and 2 but we can also neglect 0 as I told you but as if now I'm just taking uh, that in our particular analysis so 0 1 and 2 I wrap it in a bracket and divide by count distinct of ID and since, since like you know like these are like 0 1 and 2 like other negative values like because like uh, are the damaging bar chart but in the calculation we want to take the absolute value so what we can do is we can just wrap it in an absolute one otherwise like uh, it will not show correct in a bar chart like the perfect so it will be not aligned properly so let me just give you the absolute one perfect so now click on apply so what we can do is we can just drag the NPS to the another axis so as if now our visualization will change so don't worry just click on bar chart in the first one and in the NPS one you can just select on the circle and click on open. you can just drag the measure name out from that so now we can just increase a little bit size of that circle perfect and now what I can do is I just want to show the labels also so I can just do the labels so as if now like NPS like we have not formatted that in percentage that's why it is showing the decimal places so what we can do is we can just click on the drop down click on default properties click on number format give a percentage zero place and we can just give custom decimal place for zero percentage we want plus sign and semicolon for minus we want minus zero percentage so this is a little trick in the format you can do if you want to show both positive and negative in your data so click on the, that one and now what I want is I want that to be uh, inside my center right and I want to change the text of my color to white perfect I can just increase the size a little bit perfect so as if now like you can see the circles are not lined right so what we can do is we can just edit the axis and we can just fix it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fix it by minus 100% minus 1.01 to 1.01 so it will get fixed to the correct way perfect so now it is looking perfect so now what I want is I want it to be sorted by the NPS score so what I can do is I can just click on the drop down of the questions click on sort and instead of data source we want it to be by field do it descending and do it by NPS score and descending 
perfect so you can see like for this ease of online booking and for in flight services like uh, our nps score is like negative percentage so that shows like these two services in the flight should be improved so this kind of recommendation we can provide to the airline services if you are uh, analyzing this particular data and we can also see that like for in flight services and baggage handling like the flight is are uh, doing great uh, like this top 3 categories are good we are receiving so this kind of analysis we can do using like a chart so i hope you are clear with that and you have understood like how we can analyze the data and how we can give the recommendation to the flight services owner right so now let me just uh, do a little bit formatting so just right click on that and just remove the headers and what we can do is just remove the header from down also and now what we can do is we can just rename these uh, as well so what we can do is i can just uh, edit the aliases or i can just rename it from here so i'll just uh, rename it from here command z so i'll just click on the drop down uh, rename this field so very dissatisfied And one also I wanted to be very dissatisfied so what I will do is uh, rename it very dissatisfied and I will just give one space otherwise it will not give me permission to write one name right and for two what I can do is I can just write dissatisfied and for three negative and four negative I can just give it as a neutral neutral response control control C and three positive also I can give the name as neutral and four I can rename it as satisfied and five I can rename it as very highly satisfied very satisfied okay perfect so now it is looking perfect right so now what we can do is we can just add a reference line uh, as the particular example I showed you so what we can do is we can just add the constant line to the measure values and we can just give the value as 0 perfect and what we can do is we can just click on this line we can just select this line and click on edit and we don't want to show the value so we can just give as none and line formatting we can give it as a dark one click on ok perfect and what we can do is we can just click on that format and we can give the line as the dark one and we can give the opacity as full a hundred percent so it will show to our end users perfect and one more thing we can do is we can just remove the grid lines so just go to grid lines go to your sheet and just give the zero lines as none grid line as none perfect so our like a chart is ready so now you can see like it is very easy to interpret right you can see like these are the promoters of our particular cases and these are the detractors for the particular cases so for ease of online booking and in flight services these are the bad services that are in the particular data set that should uh, the service that should airline should improve on and you can see like these are the promoters and like most of the people have neutral views for food and drinks and departure because like people uh, don't usually like uh, prefer food and drink so like if you are paying so much money so they say it's okay okay right so that kind of response are being uh, given in the food and drinks option so you can see like if you uh, build a survey data in this kind of chart so it is very easy to interpret right and we can answer various questions and we can also give recommendation to the particular owner if you want to give so i hope you enjoyed going through that video and you learned something from it so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you love watching me making such videos so do subscribe it and also share with your friends if possible so see you soon in the next video till then bye bye